right, hello everybody. This is about nail care, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So, first thing we're gonna need is set down some paper, we have right here, and, in, and I use these products. Five second nail glue, it's kind of like super glue right here, and five second nail glue acrylic powder, okay? I set up the paper because I don't wanna ruin the table that I'm at, and many times I've taken this pin out and I've got glue all over my computer so it's best not to do it near your computer then I've got these two files right here um, this has got four surfaces and this has got two surfaces now, before we get into anything like that let's just take a look at where I like to have my nails as far as length if I'm looking at it from the palm of my hand you can see that it just there's just a little bit of nail that's coming up there index we got a little bit more than anybody else and I got kind of a, a longer thumbnail here. Alright let's apply the glue and uh, an acrylic powder here. Now if I don't if I have a nice naked nail here I don't have anything on it and I've already you know shaped it to just about where I, I like to have the shape which is for my index it's a little bit longer than my middle um, because obviously the middle finger is longer than my index finger so I give this one a little extra length with a little extra nail. Uh, the first thing I do is I score it a little bit. I take the roughest side of my uh, emery board here and I just score, put some lines in that so the glue has something to hang on to. second nail glue because you just only have to wait for five seconds and that's set then I will uh, put another drop and it pretty much will turn all that uh, dry powder wet again and then I'll powder it again until I don't see it too wet as you see it got really thick already Okay, so that'll be dry in five seconds. A lot of people, they don't like to go all the way to the cuticle. They only go halfway, um, which is fine. You don't want to ruin your cuticle or anything, whatever. But um, as you can see, if you go halfway, it'll end up having a lip, just like over here. And that's gonna catch on strings. So just be aware of that. You're gonna always have that lip and you're gonna constantly be having to fill that in. Um, so now we've got this. I'm just going to brush off the excess uh, powder crap there. Take my uh, take the roughest part of my board and uh, file that as smooth as I can. Try not to file down the length too much. All right. And then I turn the board over, and it's a little bit nicer. I guess this is. 100 course and 180 course so that one's a little bit nicer now okay so it's definitely not quite as coarse as it was I'm gonna do one more coating of glue pretty much done. Now all you need to do is take that finer thing just to do the edge. Okay? Um, once it's dry, completely dry. Let's see. So, almost completely dry. Alright. 
Then these are four stages on this one. This is a coarse, finer, finest, and then this is like a buffing, shine, shimmer, whatever. I don't know. I do get this these supplies at a beauty store, um, so that's always fun. <laughs> Walking into a beauty store, but I'll tell you, it's a little bit cooler than going into a nail salon and and sitting there with your nails out to have your nails did. So I just prefer to do it myself, honestly. So um, to finish this up, so it's gonna play really nice. I like my nails like hard glass, okay? So, I'm gonna do this to every nail on my right hand, and a little bit finer, except for the pinky. Um, most people grow their pinkies long and use their, and put glue on their pinkies. Um, since my rascado technique is sort of backwards, my abanico fan rascado, for some reason, I don't need to have a long pinky. And for some reason, the pinky sounds nice and loud without putting any glue on it or even really short. You see how short it is? And for me, that's all I need. So really, I only need to do these four fingers. So now this finger is done. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> but it feels like hardened glass super smooth and uh, perfect for striking the guitar. So that's how I do my nails. You're gonna have to find uh, the right shapes and lengths for your own nails and the only way to do that is experimentation. Um, if you look at mine, uh, they're not super long, they're not super short. Uh, thumb is a little bit longer, uh, index is a little bit longer. The middle and ring fingernails are not that long. Just enough that you can see them when you hold your hand flat, just kissing over the edge there. And I've got nothing on my pinky, pretty much, hardly anything. Um, and that's how I do my nails. Let's talk about after you've done your nails, after about a week or two, they might end up looking like this. All right, so that is not good. That's gonna catch on a string stop you in mid rascado. So uh, usually after about a week or two, if I see it looking like this, I, I'll give it a little fill and that will, that'll uh, give me another week or so of uh, glue on my playing nails. So I just put this drop or so right there in the crack and I just let it heal or <laughs> let it dry. I'll blow on it a little. 